Contributed Capital for a Corporation. Let's take a look at the Stockholders Equity section um, of the balance sheet so that you can see in more detail the things you must disclose in the Stockholders Equity section. You will recall that there's two sections to Stockholders Equity. There's something called Contributed Capital, which is the outside ownership, in other words, outside owners that have given you resources to run your business, and that's evidenced by stock. And whether it's common stock or preferred stock, that is uh, where outside owners have contributed resources and purchased stock in your corporation. Now, as far as the disclosures you must make about stock, whether it's common or preferred, is the following. You have to say how many shares are authorized by the corporate charter. In other words, that original document you filed with the state says this is the maximum number of shares you could ever possibly sell someone. So those are the shares authorized by the corporate charter. Second, you have to talk about how many shares are issued. Issued shares means that those are the shares that the corporation has actively um, provided to this marketplace to, uh, for owners to purchase, for ownership rights to happen. So authorized shares, issued shares, and then the third thing you have to talk about is how many shares are outstanding. And the shares that are outstanding are the shares held by external stockholders. Well, you're saying, well, I thought you told me about issued shares. Well, the difference between issued shares and outstanding shares is that there could be shares held inside the business. In other words, shares owned by the corporation itself of itself. And those shares that the corporation goes out into the marketplace and buys shares of its own stock are called treasury shares. So authorized shares by the corporate charter, issued shares which include both internal and external ownership of the business, and finally outstanding shares which are the shares that are held by outside stockholders. Now. Where do those treasury stock show up? Well, the very, very, very last thing ever in a stockholder's equity section would disclose how much is held as treasury stock. And the number here is the number of shares times the cost. In other words, what did the business pay for those shares in the open market? So treasury stock is number of shares times the cost. Common stock and preferred stock, remember, is the number of shares outstanding times the par value. And if on the original IPO, do you know what IPO stands for? Initial pub Public Offering, Initial Public Offering, IPO. So when the stock is first sold out on the stock market, that IPO, if they paid more than the par value, which is common happens, then you might have another account called what? Paid in capital. So common stock plus paid in capital will give you the value that that stock was initially sold for. So that's common stock plus paid in capital. Preferred stock, again, would have the same thing. It could have a paid in capital account. So what we got here is the total contributed capital. In other words, how much did the outside marketplace contribute as far as resources to running this business? Retained earnings, remember, is the internally generated ownership of profits or net incomes of the business that were retained in the business, retained earnings or retained income. So that also goes in stockholders' equity. And then we subtract out the treasury stock at its cost, and that will give you the total stockholders equity. So this is now the format of stockholders equity. Remember, external ownership, contributed capital, internally owned, retained earnings, and now treasury stock, where the company owns itself.